So I kind of have it together, but I, I would display it a little bit spaced. So this is the painting, and I'm going to show you how I did that. It is fun. It is a collage, and there's acrylic paint. There's Mod Podge on here. I sealed it in with an acrylic um, aerosol spray, and... There are pretty little gold details around the whole entire border of this piece, which I had a lot of fun. I love doing dots. There's something satisfying about just going on doing dots, and they're simple and they're shiny. And it's pretty! You need some color in your life. Get some color. Buy some paint. Buy some, you know, wood. <laughs> Some paint, some wood, some paper, some Mod Podge, some creativity, and some clear acrylic sealer. <laughs> That's all you need to make this. I only used three colors of paint. I used a purple and a green and white. The rest of the colors here, well, I put yellow in the gesso. The gesso was already white, and I put color in there. But all the other colors, I picked those because of these papers. This was the paper, I just added gold dots. This was the paper, and I added, you know, more gold dots. So, I like gold dots. And you can use photographs of people you know and put them anywhere you want on here as well. They will collage in nicely. And then when you hang it in your home, you'll say, wow, look at my beautiful artwork and family. So let's get to it. I'll show you what I did. So to mix the yellow for the gesso, you just add a little bit of brown and a little bit of the yellow ochre. Or whatever color gesso you want to make. I added water to this purple to thin it down. I'm going to use the water to create a texture when I drag it across the gesso and interesting splatter patterns and just make a big mess. And that's what we want. This painting only took about two and a half hours if you're including clear coating it. It's a really good project to do on a rainy day, especially if you have kids. It's so easy. So I'm just going to drip it all over the place and then have the water run into my water cup so it doesn't make a huge mess off of the painting because we want the mess on the painting. <laughs> So you rip your paper into whatever size you want, any color you want, and you just put it wherever you want to put it, wherever you think looks good. You do Mod Podge across the plain surface and then you put the paper down and then you Mod Podge on top to seal it in. I also use the Mod Podge while the purple paint is still wet. It doesn't make a difference, it's going to seal the paper in either way. And I also am using the Mod Podge to drag the purple paint around and it thins it and makes it kind of more clear so you'll see in a minute there I've dragged it around across the gesso I just skipped <laughs> some of that but just to give it a little more purple over the yellow make my colors more united so I'm adding this big more um, structured pattern piece of paper I thought it needed an accent. And then I'm dragging in some of the purple paint on top of that. And you can overlap your paper, you can overlap your paint. There are really no boundaries. So now I'm adding green and white, and I've just decided to go with this kind of hashing pattern across on top of everything. And I I think that the white and the light green brings a good contrast to the purple so that it'll stand out.
Now I'm adding gold dots around the whole border. I just thought that it would be a nice little accent. I'm also going to add some on top of my papers and I'm going to draw in some fern leaves and a butterfly you'll see at the end. My camera ran out of memory so I couldn't record all of the gold painting. Here I'm doing an echo of the paper pattern but not exactly because you can't get too much detail with these little paint bottles. You can only make such a small line. If you're having a hard time of thinking of what to paint, you can just Google something you like, like shapes, and then just go from there. You can do squares and circles, or you can do heart stars and horseshoes. It's really up to you. So now we're going to go outside to do the aerosol can paint, the acrylic clear coat. So this is the kind I have. I've actually had this for about five years and it still works well. And here it's finished. There's the butterfly. I hope you enjoyed this painting. I had a lot of fun with it myself. little space on the wall. It looks cool to me. I'm leaving it there because there's nails in the wall now. <laughs> so that's how I made my painting. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I have a Facebook you can like. Links in the description as well as an Etsy store where I sell some of my prints for my other paintings. Mostly they're all watercolor paintings at the moment but that may change by the time you see this video. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time.